better. All right, blokes. So, um, well, as you can see, we're out in the bottom of the garden again. Uh, got the tarp and the hammock set up. It's a nice spring afternoon, spring evening. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd make the most of it. Get outside. Um, enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine and the warmth. It's actually really nice today. Um, yeah, um, just get outside and have a, have a chill out. Um, I'm going to cook something up later. Um, got some nice burgers. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a, a special twist on them. Um, I don't know whether to cook them on the campfire or whether to use a stove, either a twig stove or a spirit stove. Uh, I've still to make my mind up yet because it's, it's really quite warm actually it's a bit too warm for a campfire um, so yeah we'll we'll see how we go uh, I'm gonna enjoy this cup of tea and um, we'll think about um, getting some ingredients together might do a little bit of garden foraging um, get a few bits and pieces together and yeah we'll uh, we'll get ready to get something cooked up nice see you in a bit all right first thing first a bit of jack with a hedge, garlic mustard. Um, that'd be quite nice. We've got a little bit of that. Another light and fine them. Little salad leaf. dandelion leaves we got a few more in it I mind the stingers <laughs> uh, have a look hmm oh yeah there's a few there nice young green ones oh, that'll do right so we got a little oh, little tea boo stove out again we'll give this a go See how good it is at cooking. The uh, GVO fire plugs again. And I've got a bit of birch bark. Uh, already. I'm also going to experiment. Because I've also got a team. It was one of these, a magnesium rod. I think you're supposed to scrape magnesium shavings onto the thing. They act as like a tinder. I don't know how good they are. We'll soon see. I don't even know if I'm doing this right or not. <laughs> soon see. There we go. Right, right. Oh yeah, little bugger. There it goes. Go on, where you go, where you go. <laughs> go on, go on light. She's away. He's away. Right. Inside the stove. A little bit of birch bark around it. And I'll just put the flame out. No, I haven't. Oh, that was close though. <laughs> It's away. Birch bark's really good for fire lighting because it's got natural oils and resins in it. And you can see it burns quite well. Yep, there we go. Some sticky McSticks in there. Uh, 
-de 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 -de. We've got a silver birch here, haven't we? Uh, bit that fell off the birch tree earlier. Again, this will have all the natural oils in the bark, so this will be quite good for getting it going. I think we can safely say she's uh, she's lit. <laughs> awesome. Right, I'll stick some more in. Stick in some sticks. The only thing with this I'm not so keen about is the glass tends to blacken quite quickly. Um, whether I'm overloading it too much and it's causing that or not, I don't know. I'll let it burn down a bit and see if it burns off. Okay, time to get the Oppenel out. The last time I used this, I nearly took the top of my thumb off. So, I have to be extra careful with it today. All right. Oh yeah, that baby's sharp. <laughs> right, we'll get rid of these. Don't want those bits off the end. So, some nice fresh chunks of chive. Don't you dare. enough just to give an oniony kick. Get rid of the yellow bits. I think that'll do. These will pick fresh out of the garden. And we got also got some fresh parsley for garnish. And of course our foraged salad leaves as well earlier. So okay. Thank you. Right, so we've got hog roast and apple burgers, and I thought to go with them. I've just made up some stuffing mix, so we're going to make some little patties of stuffing to go with it. It's a reassuring sizzle. That might work. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Stuff is crumbling. Sweat these down a bit. On the top. Funny thing, they're just going to burn. Right, and a little pouch of delights. So they've got some light mayo. Now, do we go with HP or tomato? Hmm. Well, I think essentially as those burgers are pork, so they're sort of sausagey, aren't they? So it should be HP. In my opinion, anyway. It's a controversial opinion, I know, but that's what we're going with.
Oh, that works. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's radiating the heat out nicely. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Mm. So this evening's entertainment is from the Moongazer Brewery that's uh, based at Holt in North Norfolk and this is their Jig for Ale, it's a Norfolk Golden Ale 4% so we'll give that a go shall we. Pour that in there, ooh that's got a good foam up on it. better. Right, find this one next. Ruby Ale, four percent. Cheers, blooks. flavor mm. it's bitter malty mm. Mm. Very well rounded very nice mm. Do enjoy this one. Mm. Drop more. Uh, fire's dying down to the last embers. I've got myself into my sleeping bag in the hammock. I've got the, uh, oh, what is it, the King Camp one. King Camp sleeping bag. There's a thermal mat underneath me as well. So I'm going to be settling down for the night and I will see you all for breakfast in the morning. Good night.
You can't see if there's any food, haven't you? Mm. Not yet, mate. In a bit. A wee bit haggis. Oh, yeah, dancer. Oh. That egg over. Not very easily. Just about. Ooh, sauce time. We've been waiting ever so patiently and give him a bit of egg. There you go. <laughs> Slappy chops. But nice. You know, you're not having mine. <laughs> Ooh, bon appetit. <laughs> mm. You missed. <laughs> when you're 13 years old your, your senses are a bit slow now aren't they mm. try again see if you can catch this one. Oh mate you disappoint me mm. ready well never mind You get one more go at this. See if we can catch it. Ready? Yay! Well done. <laughs> so, like I said before, it's just a little backyard one. Um, I've got a hopefully a proper wild camp booked for next weekend with a mate of mine. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That'd be really quite nice to get out. So yeah, it'd be really nice to get out in the open properly. Actually enjoy a bit of peace and solitude with any luck. Um, we've not decided where yet, but I don't know, probably somewhere in Thetford Forest. So yeah, looking forward to that. 
that's about it really. <laughs> um, we'll get out on the bike and get a, a couple of interesting cycle rides done. Um, yeah, apart from that, no other plans really. I've got too much here to do. So, uh, yeah, get on with that. Um, well, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this coffee. All my shadow here. Who's still sitting here waiting for food, even though it's now all gone. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hungry guts. So if you've enjoyed this video, yeah, pop us a like, uh, drop us a comment in the comments section, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then please do. Um, we're gradually picking up subscribers, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's quite nice. <laughs> Thank you for all those that have, and uh, yeah, um, we'll see you on the next one. Cheerio.